Oh, hey, guys. Oh, sorry. I love it a little rough. So I'm sitting here with this beautiful water. Try not to drop my phone in it. Yeah, I know. Don't pay attention to the dead deer, okay? It's sad. It's Bambi. And who would just throw it in there? Like a... Really? Rude. Anyways. Yeah, today's one of those days. It's Saturday. Try not to drop my phone in the water. You can totally see me doing it. Good, good thing I got insurance. Okay. So, look at this. I really want to get in there. Watch me drop my phone in there and have to go in there. <laughs> That's not really funny. Oh! Look at all those ripples! Guys, do you think it's time to create ripples in your life? The things in the world to make the world better? I think there is. I think some of us are here to do that because it helps balance out balance out things when things become unbalanced so there's ripples that we're here to cause that aren't supposed to be necessarily bad I mean it might be bad for some people you know because our light irritates their, de their demons you know but you know sometimes that's what God needs for us to do is help um, the situations that we get put in or that we put ourselves in. God uses it to wake them up. To wake them up to things about themselves, about things they're doing that's wrong or whatever. Even you, yourself, me, myself. You know? So, just a, just a thought there, you know? I don't know. This is kind of a barn day, you know. My neighbor just stopped me and told me I need to go to church tomorrow. She's right, I do. So, anyways, uh, so oh, sometimes God uses us to wake each other up. The things there. We're sleeping on, you know? Like, I know mine, for one, is like, if something starts getting too hard, like, I'll panic. Because normally, if it starts going wrong, that means it's not meant to work out. And so, I'm really good at uh, stepping back and running. Because um, when I start seeing something fail... Or something not go as planned, or something not right. I get scared and I'll run. I'll say fuck it, or I'll say screw it. Because nine out of ten, it wasn't supposed to work out anyways. So I don't know. I know, it's just, it's hard for me to, there's snakes, there it is, anyways, <laughs> I know for me, like, there are things I need to work on. And, uh, not getting that mode of, like, screw it, it ain't gonna work. You know, not working out, whatever. 
you know, sometimes it takes us actually standing and fighting to realize that, like, it's just going to be a little hard for us. So, like, you got to fight through it. And I know, like, for me, like, it's really hard for me to turn my, my, the negative in my life, it's hard for me to turn it around and use it for good to, like, push me. And I know, like, some people also have that problem, but, like, I have that problem. Because, like, people's words aren't supposed to matter, but in a way they are. They do. And so, I know, like, if somebody tells me, like, I'm not good enough, or, like, or if they would have told me, like, or, like, sometimes with my dreams, like, some people, put, yeah, you're, like my dad, you should pull your head out of your ass, you know, and get into reality. I don't know how to turn that into, like, to push me to do good or push me to, like, show them that I can do it. Because what the world thinks that you're, what the world says that you're not good enough for or, or what the world says you shouldn't do sometimes or a good indication of you should really push through it and try to do it. Your abundance is there. I know, me. I'm working on that. You know, not letting what others have to say about me, like, affect me and stuff, you know. But, oh, man. Okay, there's a shiny thing over there, so I really want to go see what it is. Shiny! Anyways, I'm going to try not to fall in the water. a rock. I have flipping rock. What? <laughs> no. <sighs> okay. It's okay. Anyways. Yeah. Like, I really want to jump over there. This one has got me got to go pee now. So I'm about to end this video and go home. Anyways. But. Uh, that's a really cool rock. Uh, I don't know. Like. There's one thing I miss about Kansas. And that's the rocks. Dude. For real. Like, especially by, like, my ex's house. Like, oh my god, they're amazing. So, but it is what it is. Alright. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know. I just... Don't be so quick and hesitant just because somebody says that you're not good enough. Make you feel like you're not good enough. Because you're more than capable and then more than enough. Sometimes it takes you pushing past what other people say about you and what they think for you to actually understand and see what your worth is. Because they're not going to see your worth if you don't see your worth. Okay, I've been told. Um, Sometimes you gotta prove your worth to yourself to prove your worth to, I guess, the world. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm putting these really dirty ones in my pocket. I can't believe I'm doing that. Anyways. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. Um... I really miss Kansas because they're rocks. That's about it. Almost. I miss some of my friends. I'm not going to lie. I miss my niece and my nephew. But mm. 
Remember, like I said, stop trying to prove your word to the world. Prove your word to yourself. It might make a little bit of difference. I don't know. Hope everybody has a blessed day.